So we now have some big news when it comes to Social Security. Right now, Republicans want to address Social Security, and so do Democrats. However, we are now getting new reports that are saying that neither party is going to touch Social Security until potentially after the election. They do not want to do it before, and I'll explain why in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates, and now let's begin. So we all know that Social Security has some issues and that the Social Security Trust Fund will become insolvent within the next 10 years. Well, we have more updates though. Even though Social Security is going to become insolvent, this is not a maybe, this is not an if, it is when this happens in 2034, well, Republicans want to increase the full retirement age. Democrats say no. We cannot do that. However, Democrats also are proposing to Republicans, we need to increase the Social Security payroll tax. We need to bring in more revenue from that. And Republicans say, no, absolutely not. Well, here's the issue. And there's many, many issues. The first one, though, is this. President Biden is issuing a Social Security warning. And he made a statement just the other day. He said, and I quote, Now he's determined to try again, running to terminate it and cut Medicare and Social Security while he's at it. I won't let it happen. That is what he said to former President Donald Trump. He does not want former President Donald Trump getting the presidency because if he does, he says that he would terminate it. Now, he would terminate Social Security and Medicare. Here's the truth. Social Security and Medicare are not going anywhere under any president. It would take Congress to vote and pretty much get rid of these two big benefits. They will not do that. That would be political suicide. Nobody would ever vote for them again. They're not going to do that. However, here's what they are considering at this time, and this is what President Biden says is extreme. He says that the Social Security move that Republicans want to make by increasing the full retirement age, this is crazy and it's outright extreme. Here's the thing. Social Security has been raised, there. the full retirement age has been raised before. Actually in 1983 was the last time Congress approved this. And over the, the following 30 years, it would raise from 65 years of age to 67. So, you know, what, 41 years later, could we increase it? Yes, we could. And that's what they're discussing is let's increase the full retirement age from age 67 to age 69. Because over the, the, the time span, the U.S. life expectancy, even though from 1983 to you know 2000 or 2024, we saw Social Security's uh, full retirement age go up two years, but the the life expectancy here in the U.S. went up four years, so it was a little bit of an increase. This is why they're saying, well, maybe we need to increase it an additional two years to keep it up to date with the U.S. life expectancy. And so that's another thing where we could see a policy change there, where now we are going to keep the U.S. life, whatever the U.S. life expectancy is, we're just going to follow that with Social Security's full retirement age. And if it were to go down for some reason, then the Social Security full retirement age would drop. But let me know your thoughts on that. But here's the thing. Right now they say there's three ways to solve Social Security. Okay? There's three different methods. First, raise taxes that pay for Social Security. The second option is to reduce benefits, which means to cut your benefit, your monthly benefits. The third way is redirect money from the general tax revenue into these uh, retirement programs like Social Security. Well, I think we can all agree we cannot redirect money from other programs into retirement because then that would hurt the other programs. So that's out of the question. So now it's only the two. 
Raise the full retirement age is one, and increase taxes is the second. Here's the thing. This is not going to happen before the next election. According to reports, Republican, Republicans want to raise the full retirement age gradually. They will get that done. Democrats want to increase payroll taxes for Social Security as well, and they will get that done. But neither party is going to pull off this move before the next election. They want to wait. And the reason why, they say, is because siding with the other party at this time would look bad for voters, and instead, they're going to kick the can down the road. Here's what I can tell you. Social Security is going to have a, a very rough road ahead. People are going to experience a cut. Okay, We, we know this. There's going to be an increase uh, in the full retirement age. There's going to be an increase to taxes, which means businesses and the wealthy are likely going to have to pay a little bit more. But there will likely be uh, that, that cut in benefits. And the cut comes from the increase in the full retirement age. Because according to the Congressional Budget Office, they say every year that the full retirement age goes up, you actually lose 7% of your lifetime benefit. So it's a little bit of a uh, you know cut there, but in the end, are you really gonna notice it? For most people, no. They would never even notice. Now, one thing I just wanna say, as Republicans do propose to raise the Social Security retirement age, there is a benefit. The one benefit that you will have is that you will not go, you will not see your benefits get reduced from 100% monthly benefit down to like 75 to 78%. If we see the full retirement age go up, if we see taxes increase, if those two things happen, then Social Security would not become insolvent. They would still have money to pay out monthly benefits. And if you're on Social Security right now, you would not be screwed over in the next 10 years. So the one thing I want to leave you with right now is just understand Social Security is going to be one of those fights that we cannot wait until 2034 to address this. This has to be done immediately. We need this done today, but lawmakers are not going to do that. They're going to wait as long as possible. They're going to try to get into a position where they have well, for one, they cannot, if they have all the support in the House, the Senate, and the presidency, they have all the power of those three, they will likely not do anything for Social Security. And the reason why is they nobody wants to be that party that either increases benefits, increases the full retirement age, increases uh, taxes, and then we still see it is not enough. That's the concern. So... We'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way. I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next 